Kansas City once again took up the issue of a proposed citywide teen curfew. But council members didn't take any action today. Amy Hawley is live to explain why. Amy? Well, the mayor wants more time to talk to the specific people who may be affected by this year-long teen curfew that's a proposed controversial idea, including the teenagers who will very much be affected by this before council takes any action on the controversial idea. Now, you may remember a few weeks ago, before it was tabled once before, Councilman Jan Markison proposed the city extend its 9 p.m. teen curfew year-round at the five entertainment districts. That includes Westport and the Plaza, 18 the Vine, Power and Light, and Zona Rosa. The proposal do a lot of controversy controversy from teenagers and some civic leaders who asked council why all the citations that have been issued regarding the curfew have been sent to African-American teenagers. This week, council members heard the opinions of teens who said it would lead them nowhere to go on weekend nights. And council said the plaza is concerned about spending about $20,000 each month on security. Highlands property has driven this. Uh, uh, we, we haven't heard from other entertainment areas about the need to try to extend that 9 o'clock curfew uh, citywide. Zona Rosa uh, is, is essentially all private property except a couple of streets that run through it. They have their own curfew. They have their own conduct policy. Uh, they, they really don't need uh, help from the city. So city council tabled the idea, which means they will be taking up the issue in another four weeks. And by then, the city's summer teen curfew that starts at 9 p.m. that lasts four months will already be in effect. In downtown Kansas City, Amy Holly, 41 Action News.